Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the FNIRSI brand, their model HRM-10. It's a rechargeable voltage internal resistance battery tester and battery voltage meter for most types of batteries up to 100 volts DC. Has a one year warranty and the product gets great customer ratings. Has a resistance range up to 200 ohms, and like I mentioned, DC voltage up to 100 volts. You never want to apply AC to it, you just want to use DC. It comes with an instruction booklet to help you out, but it's very simple to use. Has some unique functions on here. So why would you want to know what the resistance is of a battery? The voltage is obvious, that tells you something about it. But the resistance tells you the uh, quality of the battery, what shape it's in. And also it lets you analyze different battery chemistries because um, every chemistry is a little bit different. The more power you extract from a battery, the lower the internal resistance has to be. So just, just a little quick drawing right here. Every battery has an internal resistance that's in series to its output. So anytime you take that battery, you put a load on there, whether it be a light bulb, you know, a starter motor in a car, uh, computer that's going to divide that resistance between that th that load. So the higher this resistance is, the less it's going to get across your load. So this device is unique. What it's doing, it's measuring the resistance and telling you by looking at the voltage and dividing it by the current, which is Ohm's law. So it's doing that real time so that you could actually get a real reading. Let's go over some of the settings on this and some of the features. It's got a really nice stand on here and you can also hook it onto a wall which is really nice and here is the barrel connector that has the connections that just screws right on to the flexible low, con low resistance connections and to turn it on and off real simple you just pull this button right there it comes on and you hold this down to turn the unit off. Now when you first turn it on, you notice it says auto and auto, that's for voltage and resistance. You can actually uh, cycle through and you can see it says 1 volt right there, uh, 10 volts, 100 volts, and auto again. And then for the resistance, you could do the same thing. You could actually go through 200 ohms, 20 ohms, 2 ohms, 200 and then auto. So what's nice about that is most of the time you don't want to use auto, but it allows you to hone in on the value so you know uh, what it's going to be ahead of time. Uh, to charging it, it comes with a USB-A to USB-C cable, and there should be a port on here. There is your charge port. There is what they're calling a sorting mode on here. You can press this button right here, long press it and you see you get the menu right there you got sorting mode history voltage calibration resistance calibration and volume so you can calibrate this if you have a known resistance which is nice but what this is going to allow you to do is going to allow you to uh, eight, have eight groups of customized threshold data groups and that's really good then you can connect it to the computer and you can export the data to your computer and have that voltage or resistance for various devices. So that's nice if you're running a business and you're checking out multiple uh, batches of batteries and you want to see which ones you label them and you could then ha ha have that capability on there. I love the display on here. It's very clear and uh, the simplicity of this is great so that you can quickly measure anything and get the resistance and the voltage. Charging this is really simple. You can take the included cable or any type C output. I'm going to a 2 amp power supply, 5 volts. And there is a uh, the port right there as I showed. There's a little tiny LED red and that LED will turn to green when it's fully charged. So let's do some examples of some testing of some batteries. So here is a uh, nickel metal hydrate 1.3 some volt battery. I have both on auto the voltage and the resistance. Let's put the meter across right there. And you see 
it's showing 1.38 volts and 33 milliohms. You see the little M right there? That's milliohms. So you could manually change the scale and you can get close to that, but auto is easy to use. Here's an example of a lithium ion battery from a flashlight. And let's just see what the uh, resistance is on auto with this and the voltage. 4 volts, 33 milliohms. Nice, nice low resistance which is going to allow that power to go through to the load. Here's an example of a very, very large rechargeable lithium-ion battery and you'd expect the resistance to be really nice and low on something like this because this can send a lot of power to a load. So you can see it's 14.04, 2.7 milliohm. So obviously this is going to be able to generate a lot of power. So you can see how handy this meter is. Not only does it tell you the status, quality of the battery, but how much power is going to be able to go to a load. Here's another example. This is a motorcycle lithium polymer phosphate battery. And I have it connected up to it. And you can see 13.347 volts, 23 milliohms. So this is also very low resistance, high power, high capacity battery. And here's the number one use for this product is in your automotive battery. Because what it does is telling you whether the battery is good. So there's the voltage and it exceeds about 4 milliohms and that's really good. So as the battery gets older that milliohms is going to go up. You're going to see it go to 20, 25, 30, 45, 50, 60, 70 and it's time to change your battery. Because the voltage alone won't tell you enough information. So this is perfect for analyzing your automotive 12 volt lead acid or AGM batteries or even deep cycle. So after testing what do I think about the FNIRSI brand or model HRM10 this rechargeable voltage internal resistance battery tester and battery voltage meter really really cool product I love this product I never seen anything like this and I have a lot of batteries that I could test so another, another great thing is that if you have uh, I fly model airplanes and a lot of times I build my own packs. I can use this device to measure all those batteries and make an 8 cell or 6 cell, 4 cell pack and get them all optimized. So this product is great for that and that's why it gets great customer rating. So I'm going to give this product a full 5 star rating. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.